I want to get closer to here so you can see the, what's happening. So what I have here is uh, an oil pump and the oil line is empty and I'm going to show you how to take out the nozzle line. This is called the nozzle line, which is uh, pumping oil at 100 PSI all the way to the nozzle. So the first thing I would like to do is take out the nozzle line or anything else. And uh, this has to be put in very tight. And uh, when you put it back, make sure the flare is correct. It's a, it's a flare joint. So you probably did that at some point. And you flare. So take it out, put it aside. Okay, so now I will put in my gauges, the gauge manifold, this is Hit Harvey gauge manifold is very, very useful and uh, one of the easiest ones to use. So this is finger tight, it does have a grommet in it, but the grommet has to be changed frequently because they wear out and that's why we don't use rubber in uh, when we are using oil. So I'm gonna have to jiggle it a little bit, make sure it's tight, if it leaks, then we have to try another one. So it's supposed to be finger tight, okay? And I'll put that here, that's the nozzle line. And make sure this is closed, close is left, lefty righty, lefty tighty. So it is uh, closed. And before I start, I'll be ready, put your goggles on because you might get sprayed and uh, in real setting like over there you'll probably have the uh the motor which is here rigged completely with the alligator glimpse into uh into the power so i'm gonna turn on see a little bit so something wrong with this uh setting i hope to have it more and this is normal it does happen i'm going to replace this one so Pause, I'll get another one. The first thing you check in these manifolds is the grommet over here. You see a little piece of rubber. Mm -hmm. If it's not there, if it's deteriorated, it should be changed. This should be changed every few months. It gets old. Also, the grip on this is gone. It should be finger tied. It should not have to tighten this by uh, wire or something. So I got a brand new gauges and see the grommet is there, make sure it's there. Otherwise it will spray at some point. Should be tight. And with this, if you have a grip. If the thread on the knob itself is bad, you might want to change the entire uh, the entire assembly. You got see it's a the grip. threads on that. Yeah. So I got the I got the grip. It's fine. And uh, you understand that this has to be done. This has to be done every year, so it gets a little bit worn out. So you can change this knob over here. So this is closed. I'm gonna try again now. It's gone, I think the leak is gone. I don't see the leak. And if I turn it on, you should be able to see it's open now. But as you can see, there is no pressure. So the pump is running, but there is no, no pressure. So I'm going to shut it off and tighten it up more. It should be again finger, should not have to use force. And it should be loose a little bit in terms of side movement. So it is okay. So now, as you can see, I've installed this clear hose here, so you'll see how it's empty. Make sure it's empty. Uh, it's, uh, so this is going to be my oil line in real setting. So it's very tight. So I'll be ready here to bleed the pump. This is here, you can see, it's a knob. This knob will create an opening. It's an outlet knob for the bleeding, which lets the air comes out. Uh, be careful not to open the knob completely, otherwise you're gonna squirt oil over the place. So loosen it a little bit you see, uh, until you see some oil coming out. Make sure the gauge is closed. I will turn it on. Slowly. You should start, you see the oil start to rise. 
go all the way. I hope there's a bit more. Just getting some oil. It's getting rid of the. You see it moving? The bubbles. Make sure there's enough oil coming in. It shouldn't be, usually it doesn't take, in recent it doesn't take this long, but you want to wait until the oil here is solid, it's not, it doesn't have any bubbles in it, which is getting there a little bit. I think it has to do with the oil level in here. Lift it up a little bit. As I said, this uh, pump is not designed to pull against gravity, but it's trying very hard to get it. And I'll loosen it a little bit more. You see it's coming up. I don't think we have enough oil in there. Sediment or something that I saw it. Too. You saw yeah. that going up. Mm -hmm. Is there a way? Does that? Uh, is there like a filter or something before the pump? Usually there is. Yeah, there was definitely a flake or something. Yeah, there was a floater. Up. I saw it. Okay. It's in the video too. I, I watched it on the screen. Was, I'm so glad we're getting all this kind of stuff. You know what? I'm also mm -hmm. suspecting. This is not giving enough. Got to cut it. I'm so glad this is happening. So we saw the pump. Okay, this is this now it plays very. Check that this is not. I'm losing this. Now we have a solid line. So apparently this line had a kick in it and it did not provide solid line. So now we have complete solid with no bubbles. That's good. We bled it. We close it down. Oh, turn it off. Currently the gauge is leaking. So now we have oil inside the pump so this is actually giving us uh, full pressure so i will try to tighten this a little bit gently with the with pliers it should not need pliers but i'll try to do that
I tighten the bit. Yeah. So I tighten the the knob. So I see now the pressure is at 100. This is the pressure inside the line. This is completely disconnected. And what I would do now is show you how to adjust the the, the pressure, of the pump. See this knob over here. If you go up, watch the gauge. It will go up to 150. If I go down, it will go to 100. I want to keep it there. So the other way to test this, if I shut it off, it should drop by 15 to 20 percent and stays there. So you keep this on for like 10, 15 minutes and make sure it doesn't drop. If it drops, what does that mean? There's a leak. There's a leak somewhere in the line. Of course, this rig is not really tight, but in real oil line should not have any leak. Okay, so the pressure should, should remain in there. Uh, we saw how we adjusted the pressure. Uh, okay, now the last, uh, I'm done now with this with my test, and uh, I should have uh, some brazier or speed it dry. I'll take off the, the, my gauge and replace my nozzle line. And this could be a little bit tricky as well. Just uh, make sure you do it right. Come. So I will take out my from gauge. So again, as we saw, what was the pressure coming out of the pump? Uh, 100. Yeah. So it's very significant pressure. That's why we need to have it very, very tight. And uh, the grommet has to be in good shape, otherwise it will leak. So once it's a little bit loose, you can just jiggle and just have it move around. So. Okay, take this out. Now the nozzle line, you try to inspect the nozzle and look at the, at the flare. It's not cut, it's not bent or anything. And I'll try to match it the way it was, as you can see. You can, it's very bendable, so I'm going to try to bend it and match it once it uh, you can jiggle the line while you try to get a thread. I'm gonna go here and jiggle the line so I feel it's important that you, that you don't cross thread it. I'm gonna take this out. Okay, this sounds, this feels like it's going. Do not force it because again, you don't wanna cross thread this. So I'm gonna put this in here, jiggle and put it in. And uh, I will tighten it. This, I mean, you don't have to put a lot of torque in it but some will help okay and uh, if I turn it on it should not have any leak and again make sure you clean the area very well so you can know if there's any leak turn it on no leak okay and this is how you test how to purge uh, primal uh, pump see how it already went, went out because we, we this is not really not very sound uh, change the pressure Put in the gauge and take them out. Okay. Eyes done. <laughs> so, no, I don't start it.